How's everybody doing today? And as you can see, we're going to be rebuilding the San Francisco Giants, an aging team with some very big contracts. So if you guys are excited about this rebuild, hit that like button down below. Subscribe if you are new and enjoyed the content. And as always, in the comment section, let me know which team you'd like to see rebuilt. If you missed yesterday's two videos, make sure you pause this right now. Stop. Don't watch this video until you go back and watch yesterday's prospect rebuild, as well as us talking about which team we're going to start a franchise with, as well as, or what kind of series we're going to do for a franchise. So we're going to use the same roster that we used um, in the previous rebuilds, and we're going we're gonna to hop into this Giants rebuild because I want, I want to just get into it. There's going to be a lot of moves, a lot of moves, because this team, this team, this team needs a lot of help. Um, so what we're going to do is we're going to... Basically, the only pitcher here that I'm like, yes, we need to keep Derek Rodriguez. You know, Bumgarner, I've gotten him in previous rebuilds, hasn't really impressed me. Cueto, aging player, massive contract. I'd like to find somewhere to open up some uh, salary space. Smartsja, same thing. Big contract. You know, Suarez, Suarez is okay, but we'll see how he performs. Jose Marte looks kind of good um, going, you know, for the future. You know, he's 22, 73 overall pretty good per nines so he could be good for the future melanson another contract that's massive that you know he's an aging player probably need to replace him reyes maranta and maybe Derek law are our two relievers that i'm like cool staying in the pen with will smith he's good i like that uh buster posey he's gonna be our catcher kratz and vote are probably gonna be traded because we don't need aging catchers we have aramis garcia and joey bart two decent looking prospects in the catching position First baseman, Brandon Belt, as long as he does well. You know, we got to make that trade for Tyler Austin that the Giants just recently made. So, he'll, you know, Tyler Austin will probably be the backup. And then we'll have Belt for first base. Second base, we got Panic. Um, Hansen needs to be traded to the Blue Jays in uh, that Pilar trade. But, you know, second base, we got Panic. Third base, Evan Longoria, another aging player with a big contract. Let's try to find a new third baseman that's a little bit younger. Um, shortstop, Brandon Crawford. I'm not sure what to do with him because, you know, he's a decent shortstop. Um, but again, aging player with a somewhat big contract. So we'll see how he does. If not, we'll trade him. Left field, Chris Shaw. I'm cool with that. He's a, he's a decent left fielder. Connor Joe just got designated for assignment. So he's not really on the Giants anymore. So we'll probably get rid of him. Center field, you know, Steven Duggar is kind of low rated. He doesn't really hit the ball well. <sighs> we'll see if he features. You know, we got Helio Ramos, Mike Gerber. Cameron Mabin, probably not going to keep him around. Um, he's got one-year deal. Probably won't keep him. Gerardo Parra, right field, one-year deal. Probably that, that'll be it. So a lot of changes need to be made. Let's do that. Uh, the big trade in this, or the big, obvious, the obvious one, Pilar for Hansen. That's that's really the deal that we're making here. Uh, Ryan Howard and Jared Miller are two of our lowest rated players with uh, C potential. So there's our trade for us. Already Slater and um, Ray Black, who has a potential, um, but he's 28 years old, so I'm not really, you know, fussed if we trade him. Um, along with Mark Melanson for Addison Reed and uh, Tyler Austin. I know in real life Tyler Austin was just traded for like a prospect, um, but I figured why not try to add a replacement for Melanson and make this deal a little bit better for us. Johnny Cueto is going to the White Sox for Blake Rutherford, as well as Kelvin Herrera and Alex Colom. Um, again, it opens up some salary space. We get a little bit younger pitchers, as well as a decent little outfield prospect. All right, Bravik, Valera, Tyler Beatty, who's 25 years old with a potential. Again, not worried that we're trading. And Alex Colom's very little time spent in San Francisco. Um, for Mike Clevenger, we get that starting pitcher that we just lost in Cueto. And, you know, he's a little bit younger. He's 28. You know, his contract, he's got arbitration for the next few years. So I, that's a good one. That's a good trade for us. Ryder Jones, again, 24 years old. He's 55 overall. Don't get me wrong. He probably is a really good prospect in real life. Um, but he's going to be traded. Nick Vincent and Tony Watson. Again, two aging pitchers. Um, for Michael Franco, we need a third baseman that's a little bit younger. Um, you guys can see he's got arbitration for the next couple years. All right, Miguel Gomez, as well as Sandro Fabian and Evan Longoria. Like I said, we were trying to get rid of some of these big contracts for Victor Victor Mesa 
He does have a little bit <laughs> big of a contract, uh, but you know, he's a decent center field pro prospect and he's going to help us out in that center field spot where we, you know, we have Kevin Pillar, we do have Cameron Maven and Gerber, but this guy, it's some trade value as well, just in case we need to make a move later on in the future. Alrighty, so I'm trying to get a little bit, uh, some better prospects in, and a way to do that is trade these two aging catchers and Kratz and Vote, along with Michael Reed, who is like 20, what is he? He's a right fielder, where is he? Uh, 26, and he's 56 overall. For Nico Horner, um, we don't have any more short stops. <laughs> um, so, you know, he's 21, he's 61 overall. Um, B potential. We'll slowly start to get a couple more prospects back. Ty Block, uh, Jan Garvis, Solarte, and Donovan Solano are going to be traded for Matt Duffy. We don't really have a second base short stop or third base backup that's MLB ready. So this, you know, gets rid of, again, two aging players. And Ty Block is one of our better, you know, relievers. But I definitely think we can find better replacements in the future. So that's that's it. We're done with trades. I know we just made like seven of them. Let me move the rotation around. Let me move the lineup around. And let's get into this season. Start the first season. This is how we're looking. Again, we still do have some aging players. You know, Para. Um, you know, Pilar is not even that young. He's 30. Belt's 30. Um, Posey's 32. Panic's a little bit, you know, older. He's 28. So, you know, he should have a couple more seasons. Crawford's 32. Um, but it, we do, we did get a little bit younger, you know, Franco came in, uh, Shaw is obviously the left fielder that was already here. Garcia is going to be our backup catcher. Tyler Austin's 27. So hopefully he starts to grow a little bit more. Um, Matt Duffy 28. So he's still, you know, under 30 starting pitching. We got Clevenger 81. Perfect. That's good. We got Rodriguez here. Um, obviously I wanted to try to trade away Smartja, but we should be okay with that for now. We brought in Addison Reed, so we didn't make a, a big trade per se, but we found pieces that are younger, less salary, so we should be good going forward. Um, I'm still not confident in the way this team will perform going, you know, into this season, but we'll have to wait and see. You know, it could be a surprise team. So let's get into it. I'll see you guys at draft day. Alrighty, draft day, and we have the tenth pick. Let's see really quick um joey man was an, a player i had my eye on a little bit um just because his stats look pretty good but that's not the right picture um but from what i'm seeing i don't think either of these guys yeah so it's just joey man let's see if we can find somebody else we're gonna go with our first pick jeffrey kinsey i know it says he's 55 overall but his contact numbers look good already along with his plate vision and discipline, um, as well as his speed. His de his defense looks pretty bad, but um, yeah, we're, we're just going to go with him. We're going to try Howard Majam here. Um, all my players are taken away from me. I don't have any more scouted. Um, so yeah, let's, let's see how this goes. We'll try Ken Lawson out of Texas. We're going to try Clyde Luke, uh, the center fielder. Um, his stats for the future look decent. We're going to try Fritz Velasquez here. His his contact numbers don't look too bad. Um, so this is like stealing and speed. They look kind of pretty good. You know, kind of pretty good. They look they look decent. So we'll go there. And last pick, we are going to take... Wow, that looks really bad. Um, oh, man. These all look pretty bad. Let's see. We'll take Jason Kratz. Yeah, whatever. We'll, we'll take it. We'll see. So let's get into it. Um, I'm going to see what that first player was, the outfielder, the the man, Ju Julian Man, I think it was. We're going to show him first, and then we'll show the rest of the um, picks. Alrighty, so here he is. Um, he's a potential 65 overall. Alrighty, so right field, Jeffrey Kinsey, B potential, 56 overall. Um it's it's okay you know 86 potential not too bad um but this guy right here howard majam a potential 71 overall he's 18 years old good fielding you know good power versus righties decent speed um but 90 potential oh that's 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 awesome uh ken lawson's got 78 potential he's already a 75 so you know not a bad maybe four or five starter um clyde luke is 65 overall 
uh, but B potential. His is uh, 82, which wasn't bad for a, a later round pick. Fritz Velasquez, 66 overall. Um, decent contact numbers already. He's a uh, 77 potential. And then our last pick, Jason Kraft. Doesn't look good, so we're going to let him walk. So that's our draft class. Not too bad. Um, definitely not too bad. You know, uh, the Majam guy is definitely what I'm like looking at. He's a switch hitter. Um, I like that. So we, we do have a backup shortstop going forward. So let's get into the rest of the season. I'll see, I'll see you guys at the deadline. At the deadline, you guys can see we're nine games behind the Dodgers. Um, 61 and 46. So that actually gives us the first wild card spot. It's going quite well. Uh, we'll quickly look at the team, see how things are going. Bumgarner, you know, contract year is doing decent. You know, pretty solid, actually. You know, pretty comparable to the last season. Um, so, so far, so good with Mad Bum. Derek Rodriguez, um, again, having a pretty solid Caesar. 3.15 Caesar. Caesar. Hmm. Having a pretty good season. 3.15 ERA. Mike Clevenger, a, a little rough. Um, but... You know, he's going up in ratings, so I'm hoping that'll continue to go. Smarja, you know, for a player I was questioning a lot. You know, he's he's not doing too bad. And then Suarez is actually doing pretty solid. Um, so that's good to see. Got is okay. Reed's doing pretty solid. Maranta's doing pretty good as well. Law, amazing. That's an amazing ERA to see. Dyson, that's solid too. Herrera, oh, it's our bullpen is performing very very well that's awesome to see so looking at the team you guys can see the averages here um chris shaw has gone up quite a bit since the season started michael franco i was kind of hoping he'd do a little bit better buster posey 88 panic's gone about i thought he was going to go down but you know or he has gone down but i guess he's about the same brandon crawford is about the same and then mike gerber has gone up a little bit so you guys can see on the bench as well um, players have gone up a little bit and, um, and mostly Tyler Austin and Garcia and Duffy's kind of, you know, about the same, which is good. You know, he's kind of our platoon player. That's what I want to see. I want to see Tyler Austin going up and I want to see a Garcia going up just in case at one point, you know, some player just decides to crash and burn. It, it can happen. It definitely can happen in a sim style franchise. But so far, you know, I feel like we're overachieving. We're doing very, very well. Um, and I'm very excited with what the way the team's performing. So let's get into the rest of the season I'm gonna let it play out. I like the moves we made for this season. I don't want to make too many more um, I want to see how the rest of the season plays out and then and then we'll make adjustments as needed Alrighty 87 and 75 as a postseason team uh, We made the wild card. So that's awesome. We're taking on the Phillies in the first round of the postseason a, a little bit you know, I'll, we had some rough patches um, the second half of the season. So let's see how the standings went. We finished 15 games behind the Dodgers. We're really going to have to do well to take over the West. But you guys can see uh, we had a two-game lead over the Cardinals for the uh, wild card, the second wild card spot. So delivery man of the year, Will Smith, which is awesome to see. I love seeing that. Uh, league leaders. Uh, it would have told us if we had any, so I don't know why I'm looking at that. But let's see, Mad Bum, you know, a 3-2-8 ERA, you know, that's still very respectable. 200 innings, potentially looking to bring him back. I'll definitely consider it. Uh, Derek Rodriguez, solid. Like, he's looking like an ace. I really like picking him up in franchises because he does very, very well. Uh, Clevenger, uh, a little, you know, for a 3-4 starter, 3-7 ERA is not bad. You know, 13 and 8, 180 innings. Definitely could be a little bit better, but I'm not going to complain about that. Shmarjita did very well. Um, I'm still going to keep my eye on him, though, because at any point he can start decreasing in stats. And Andrew Suarez, under a 3 ERA, I will take that every single day. Obviously, wins and losses aren't there, but still, solid, solid season. Trevor got respectable. Reed, 2-7 ERA, solid whip. Maranta, a little bit higher ERA, but you know, the ooh, it's looking like the bullpen towards the end of the season got a, a little roughed up. Like these three, a, li a little bit, you know, not too much, but you know, at the beginning of the, at the midway point, they were rocking low threes. Some were under three, so it's looking like at some point, you know, they kind of had a little bit of a rough patch. Kelvin Herrera is looking like a solid setup man, so we'll I'll possibly look to bring him back. And this was our award winner, Will Smith, 59 saves, only five blown ones. And a 
1.04 ERA. That's awesome. So Gerardo Parra stayed the same. Um, 263 average. You know, I can't complain about that. That's not that's not terrible. Kevin Pillar, 267. Um, he's going up. I want to see that. You know, at age 30 and you're going up. Awesome. Brandon Belt's going down. Um, I don't know why. You know, that's a better season than his previous, what, four, three? I don't know why he's going down. That's a respectable season right there. Chris Shaw, 231. You know, he's still still getting his feet wet in the majors, but um, he went up in rating, and that's what I like to see. Michael Franco, average needs to go up a little bit, and I'll be happy. Buster Posey staying about the same. Awesome. Joe Panic going up, it says. Awesome. Uh, Brandon Crawford remaining the same. As long as he remains the same and he hits about 260, 270, I'm happy. Mike, Mike Gerber, he's going up, which is awesome to see. So we're going to have some competition in the outfield. Um, I like to see that. Uh, Ramos Garcia is up to a 71. Um, would like to hit a little bit better, but I'm not going to complain. We have Buster Posey at catcher, and I doubt he's going to tank anytime soon. Tyler Austin's gone up a little bit, 288 on the season. Very good. Uh, Cameron may have been one-year player probably for us, um, but not a bad season. And Matt Duffy, 262 on the year um, for a platoon player. Pretty happy with that. Let's look at some of our prospects, see how things went. Um, Jose Marte, 74. We got these guys down here. They don't look too bad. Bullpen, Mirendi Gonzalez doesn't look too bad. Um, but outside of that, we're probably going to need to bring in some more. Uh, Joey Bart is a 71. Oh man, we're gonna have a little bit of a, some trouble at catcher here. Uh, Jacob Gonzalez is a 61. Nico Horner went up two ratings. He, you know, 304 average. That's pretty solid to see. Uh, left field, eh. Uh, center field. This is where it's gonna get a little crowded. We got Ramos. We got Duggar. We got Victor Victor Mesa. Um, and then right field, we got Blake Rutherford. So the outfield is a little crowded with the prospects. But um, I'm liking that we were able to bring in some prospects and then get the team a little bit younger. So playoff game against the Phillies. Let's get into it. Um, already performing better than I expected. You know, I wasn't expecting us to make the playoffs. We're going to let Mad Bum take it. Um, our lineup's going to stay the same. We're going against Aaron Nola here. Um, okay. Three run bomb. Michael Franco. There we go. They have Segura, Hernandez, Harper, Hoskins, McCutcheon, Herrera, Real Muto, and Walding has taken over that third base spot. Um, but the team is looking very similar to how it normally does. Bases loaded. Can we get a sack fly? No. We do get the we do at least get one run out of it though. Four run lead. A double. Bunts it over. Two runs. Gerardo Para with a two run double. This is awesome to see so far. So good. Um, Mad Bum's pitching very well. And uh, let's just keep it going. What do we got here? Gets out of it. Perfect. Mad Bum. We're going to keep him going. He's hitting, He's even hitting the ball well. Um, let's keep it going. Let's keep it going. There we go. Brandon Belt grounds out. Shaw doubles. Double play, though. Not too sure how we did that, but it happened. It happened. Posey. Alrighty, I'm watching the energy. He's about, he just hit under half. So I'm keeping my eye on that. So I'm going to, I'm going to let him go. I'm going to let him go. He's, he's, he's free swinging. Mad bum. Kevin Pilar, three run bomb. And uh, it's, it's, you know, mad bum's going to close out the game. Shutout, complete game shutout for mad bum in a playoff game. Three hits. That's awesome to see. That was that was good. That was good. I like to see that. So what I'm going to do here. So I'm just going to move Mad Bum right here. So that way, you know, we get to see him in this series a little bit sooner than expected. So going against the Dodgers, this is definitely going to be a tough matchup. Um, we got elimination game here and we advance to take on the Mets or the Pirates. We're taking on the Pirates. Okay. And with full rest. We should be able to get our uh, our team all set up here. I mean, whoo, these Giants putting on a show season one. What is going on? What? We're taking on the Astros in the World Series. 
Well, what? What? Two, two. All right, elimination game in the World Series. What? I was, I was being like, hey, we may not make the the playoffs this year, but now all of a sudden we're in the World Series season one. Season one. One run does score. Okay. Okay, one run. It's just one run. You know, we got a guy on first one out. Okay, okay. A walk, ground out. Okay. So far, you know, still decent. A, mm, three runs now. Still the fifth. You know, we still got time. We just, we gotta, we gotta start to do something with this. First and second, two outs. Kevin Pillar brings in two. And now it is a one run game. Ah. <sighs> Single, okay. Can we get a little two-out rally here? <sighs> I'm gonna take him out. I'm gonna take him out. I had to think about it for a bit. Let's see. Uh, we got righty and then a couple lefties. Let's bring in Law. Gets us out of the inning. Perfect. All right, come on. We got the single. Strikeout. First and second. Brandon Belt. Mm. Okay, we're still down three. We got six outs left. Can we do something with it? Double play. And it's looking like our season here is uh, running short. But to be honest, crazy rally coming on. No. Defeated in the World Series by the Astros. But hey. Season one, we made the postseason, which was a massive, massive step that I wasn't expecting us to hit. We beat the wild card, win the NLDS, win the NLCS, and we go to the World Series first season when I wasn't even expecting us to do that. Uh, we have Gerardo Parra was the playoff MVP. Really? Okay, he hit 306. That's that's respectable, you know. Um, bats went a little cold in the in the world series for sure but mad bomb pitched very well obviously the last game didn't go too too great but um overall great season let's get into season two Alrighty, arbitration wise the only person who didn't get it was dyson um everybody else was offered arbitration contracts everybody got a contract um except for ramos garcia oh no he got one too um but Really, the only one that wasn't given one um, were just low-rated, bad-looking prospects. So that was it. Um, looking at our lineup really quick, we need a right fielder. Um, and that's really it, you know. Um, I feel like the way the team performed, obviously Mad Bum hasn't signed. I offered him a contract. Um, he hasn't signed it yet. We offered Addison Reed a new contract, 4.4 uh, over the next few years. Kelvin Herrera, same thing, uh, 4.8 over the next few years. Uh, there was somebody else too. Uh, I think it was Derek Rodriguez. No, there's one more person I offered a contract to and I can't remember who it was. Uh, uh, if I remember, I'll show you guys, but that's it. Uh, we might sign a free agent. If not, we're just gonna start the season. We're gonna find that new right fielder and we'll get into it. Season two, we're going to be looking like this. Um, I don't want to change the lineup too much um, because I feel like we did really well last year. We have a couple new players. Victor Victor Mesa is going to make the jump up to the majors um, in the bullpen. Everything else is the same. Uh, minus one reliever. Um, the starting rotation looks good. Um, everybody's gone up in rating except for Smarge Joe, who stayed the same. Uh, Mad Bum signed his contract. And the other player I couldn't remember uh, was Will Smith. He signed a contract. Addison Reed signed a contract, like I mentioned. So we're looking good in terms of having players locked up for the future. Now we just got to get just a little bit younger. So I'm going to see how everything pans out right now. Um, and then deadline day is when we'll make some more trades if need be. So let's get into season two, see how things go. Alrighty, things aren't going as well as they did last year. You guys can see 57 and 52, 10 and a half out. We're only three out in the wild card. 
which is awesome to see. The CPU drafted. Okay, you know, I'm, you know, 80 plus potential isn't bad. We got Dave Dubo Dubose, 70 um, overall with 83 potential. You guys can see some of these stats here uh, for these guys. You know, not not, do, not too bad, not too bad. Um, definitely could have gone a little bit better, but I'm not going to complain. You know, anybody with like 80 plus potential, I'm perfectly fine with getting in the system, uh, like our farm system. So looking at our team... Um, Mad Bum is doing pretty solid. Derek Rodriguez is having a little bit of a rough time. Clevenger is doing well. Suarez, ERA is higher than normal and Smart just starting to decrease. And this is what I was worried about. Um, unfortunately, it's not working out. Derek Law is doing well. <laughs> the bullpen. The bullpen is killing it. The bullpen is definitely killing it. Looking at our team. The bats are a little quiet. Bats are definitely quiet. Obviously, we don't have, you know, like power hitters. And I feel like that's what we're lacking. We're lacking a lot of power. Um, but, you know, we don't have anybody above 280. We don't even have anybody above 270. So the bats are a little bit quiet. We do have a couple prospects I do want to keep my eye out on. Um, Jose Marte is almost up there. That's looking nice. Um, Joey Bart's a 73. Um... Majam 73. Duggar's up to a 68. Clyde Luke is 67 already. All right. Helio Ramos, 67. Rutherford's a 68. So we're definitely looking a little decent. All righty. Smart Joe for Josh Donaldson. Josh Donaldson is decreasing as well, but it's a bat with a little bit of power, and we do need that. Uh, Smart Joe's going down. We could also bring up Marte. Um, but we'll see about that. Plus, we open up a little bit of cap space. Um, so I'm going to bring up Marte now. Because we do have that uh, spot available. We have actually two spots available. Um, he's up to an 81, which is awesome. So it's looking like pitching. We might not have to freak out about too much um, at the deadline. You know, like, and even for the future, uh, I, I think that was it. I think that's it. You know, the season's going okay. Obviously, it's not going as well as last season. But, you know, the bats need to kind of wake up a little bit. I think that's our biggest concern. And I think if things don't go well, season three is going to have a little bit of a shakeup in the lineup spot. So we did make the postseason again. 89 and 73 as a wild card team. We're taking on the Rockies. Um, let's see how things went. League leaders, Mad Bum. Showing he deserved that contract. No awards or anything, but we finished second, um, eight games out, and then obviously we we basically tied with the the Rockies for the wild card spot, and um, it, I can't complain about that at all. You know, we made the wild card again. Um, the bats the bats woke up a little bit towards the end of the season, but let's see, Matt Duffy here, 78 overall, 280. So you know, as our like platoon player, he's looking good. Panic got better. Hitting wise, Buster Posey's getting better, which is great to see. Brandon Belt is going down a little bit in average, but you know his stats really weren't too worrying. Michael Franco's improving, which is great. That's what I wanted. I want to see that back go. Chris Shaw's potential's gone down, which isn't good to see, but you guys can see he's up to a 75. Brandon Crawford still remaining the same. Kevin Pillar, 81 overall, um, even better than the previous year. And Mike Gerber um, is going up. You know, he may not be hitting the ball well, but he's going up. Aramis Garcia is almost an 80. Um, and I know we have Joey Bart, who's going to be of a similar rating. So we got to we gotta figure something out with all these catchers. Um, if Brandon Belt doesn't do well, does Posey? Posey plays first. So we might move Posey to first. And if Brandon Belt's not doing well, we can trade Brandon Belt. Uh, Josh Donaldson, I'm not even going to worry about. We, we also do have Tyler Austin, who... He's only getting better. And then Victor Victor Mesa, he's getting better as well. So, you know, we've we've definitely got um, some solid lineup. Uh, the pitching, Mad Bum earned his contract this year. Amazing year. Um, Derek Rodriguez, a little bit rough. A little bit rough. Clevenger bounced back from last season. Amazing year this year. Wins and losses weren't there. ERA was. Um, and innings and stuff like that, awesome. 
Uh, Andrew Suarez a, a little rough from last season, and Marte in his limited appearances. I, you know what? A 3-2-1 ERA. You know, obviously 4-3 and three on the year, but still. Awesome. Derek Law, phenomenal season. Phenomenal season. That's awesome to see. Addison Reed is going down, but... You know, a 3-1-5 ERA is still pretty solid. Trevor got two ERA. You know, and I was I was hesitant about bringing him back, but he looks like he's doing pretty well. Reyes Maranta, four ERA. Kelvin Herrera, solid setup, man. He's doing very well. And then Will Smith is doing Will Smith things. Um, blew a couple more saves this year, but still solid. Let's look, quickly look at our prospects for the year. Um, Pitching-wise... Andrew Suarez. I don't know if we have another Andrew Suarez in real life, but you know what? He's there. Joey Bart, 75. So like I said, we got to figure out this first base situation. Um, let's see. Majam's up to a 74. Horner's up 70, uh, 67. Center field, we've got a cluster of outfielders. So we're going to have to figure out something there. Blake Rutherford's almost a 70 as well. So our prospects are looking good. Here's the playoff bracket. Let's get into this game against the Rockies. We'll take a look at their team, see how things go. Um, let's see. Mad Bum against Freeland. We'll take a look at their squad here. Hampson, Murphy, Blackman, Story, Arenado. So it, it looks the same. It looks the exact same as what it normally does. Let's see if we can take advantage of this. Maybe get a sack fly. Bases loaded. I need a sack fly. We get the run in. I, I couldn't you know, not get the, the run in. We needed to take that Tra or Travis. Chris Shaw goes deep, makes it a two run game. First and second, no outs, bases loaded, double play. Really, we couldn't get the sack fly there. That's unfortunate, but it's looking like the bats are, you know, the bats are there. We get a run in, so it's a three run game. So far, so good. Okay, Mad Bumps allows a homer, which is sucks because that was lefty lefty, but, uh, 3-1 lead still. We're going to keep Mad Bum in. He, for some reason, he just hits the ball well. Gerber got a double, makes it a three-run game. Panic goes deep, makes it a five-run game. Pilar making it seven runs now. And it looks like we're not done. Oh, we're done now. Okay. So, so far, so good for Mad Bum. He does allow another run, but we get out of it thanks to a runner being thrown out. All right, Mad Bum, you're done. Sorry, bud. You're you, you're not doing bad. It's just you're tired, and now it is a three-run game. So I'm a little, I'm a little worried. We get a double. Can we get a little two-out insurance? We don't. We're gonna bring in Will Smith to close things out. <sighs> that was way too close. I didn't like that at all. Uh, we're taking on the Dodgers again, so let's see how things go. Are they going to go a little bit similar to what last year happened? They do, and we're taking on the Phillies here. So we lose the first, we win the second, lose the third, lose this one. We're in the elimination situation. Um, let's get into it. Let's see how things go here. We'll let Mad Bum take the mound. Oh, man, we're, we're a little tired, so... Just to keep players a little fresh. We'll do that. So we'll see how things go. One, two runs. Four in the first. And we can't take advantage of that situation there. So we're still down three. Mad Bum's outing might be a little short. You know, we're already at half, you know, three three innings through the game. We do get one, so it is a... Oh, there we go. One run game. There we go. There we go. So, their lineup still looking pretty similar from previous seasons. First and second, two outs. Come on. Couldn't get it. Can Mad Bum go one more? He does. All right, cool. Aramis Garcia ties it up. There we go. First and second, no outs. Grounds out. Can we get the sack fly? We do, and we take the lead. That's what I like to see. We're going to take him out. We're going to let Herrera come in. Gets us out of that. There we go. 
nothing comes of it. Pitching change. Will Smith come in, close the day. He does. We There we go. We're still alive. We're still alive. And we need to win this game now. Can we do it? We're going to let Derek Rodriguez go in. The lineup's looking fresh now. Bases loaded, no outs. One run scores. Another run scores. Another run scores. Okay, three runs. Solid first inning. Mm, that hurts a little bit, but we still have a two-run lead. Double play. Really, that's that sucks. Still have this two-run lead. First and second, no outs. Bases loaded. That's you just can't, you can't hit a sack fly there. Tie game. Tie game. Really. We need we need to score. We need to score the next one. No, we don't get it. All right. All right. I had to I had to pause because my dog was barking, so I had to make sure that you guys weren't gonna hear that one. Uh, so going into this game, it's still three three. All right, that was his last one. Crawford, singles. We're going to pinch hit. What are we going against? A righty. We'll go We'll go Donaldson. Strikes out. Mm. Strike out. A single. First and second. Panic. Mm. Pitching. All righty. We got to keep the game going, though. We got to keep it going. Gets out of it. So, there's probably going to be a portion cut out that has no audio. Mostly, what happened was my dogs decided to just lose it and start barking like crazy. So, I don't want you guys to hear that. But, all right, we're in the ninth. Tie game. Single. Awesome. Fly out. Not great. Another fly out. All right, so nothing comes of that. Maranta gets us out. We're in extras now. I should have pinch hit. Mm. Fielder's choice gets out of the jam. Yes. All right. There we go. Sack bunt moves him over. We need to get that run in. Come on. Michael Franco, Chris Shaw, Crawford. I mean, we're going to pinch hit. Bring in Duffy. And he strikes out. So, so far, we're having a little bit of trouble with the team. Come on, guys. So we're eliminated right before the World Series. So, so far, this team performing very well. Let's see who wins the World Series. The, the Phillies defeat the Indians, which, okay. At least we lost to the World Series champions. But, again, not a bad year. You know, World Series first year. We lose right before the World Series second year. Let's see what happens in the third season. All right, we're trading for Nomar Mazzara. We need a right fielder. Um, and you know, 25 years old, 85 overall for Luis Toribio, Toribio, uh, Clyde Luke, who's the big bulk of this trade along with Steven Duggar. Um, we have a lot of good center field prospects already. We have Gerber, we have Mesa, Victor, Victor Mesa, we have Helio Ramos. Um, so I feel like three is plenty and now we get a right fielder, which we really needed. Alrighty. Season three. Um, we're going to, we're going to go with this. Um, I feel like the team is doing pretty well as is, and everyone looks like they're doing really well. I mean, there's no reason to change things up. Um, Derek Law is going to go here. I'm going to put Martin Perez down. There's no reason to have Martin Perez up when we don't need him. Um, but outside of that, the team, you know, has been performing well. Here's the team. Everyone was brought back. The only change we made was Mazzara. And I feel like we're, we're looking pretty good. You know, everyone's basically... We're going to put Victor Victor Mesa in, though, because he's a little bit better center fielder. But, yeah. The team team's performing well, even though they're not, like, the highest rated. And everything's going better than expected. So, we're going to leave it like that. See how the season goes. And uh, see if we can make another World Series appearance in Season 3. At the deadline, we are 70 and 41. It 
we're, it's <laughs> I don't know what's going on. This team is just really good for some reason. Um, the draft picks were pretty bad, um, so we're just we're just not gonna worry about it. We're gonna worry about the team. You guys can see how everyone's doing here. Buster Posey somehow just keeps getting better as he ages. Um, Michael Franco really hasn't panned out as I would have hoped, but overall the team looks pretty good. Um, all our additions that we've made have panned out. The players that we've kept have, you know, done very, very well. Clevenger is looking like our new ace. Um, he's looking pretty good. Derek Rodriguez, even though he doesn't have the wins or losses, his ERA is good. Mad Bum's looking solid. Jose Marte, like I said, was a player I could see doing well, and he's doing very well. You know, just crazy numbers. Even Andrew Suarez is looking solid. Derek Law is taking over that long relief role. Reyes Maranta is really our only question mark along with Trevor Gott, but everybody else looks solid. So let's see. Ken Lawson was a player we drafted. I remember that. Um, and you guys can see the rest of the prospects here um, in the bullpen. We got a couple. We might, we need to, we might need to replace Gott Dubose from the second season draft. Um, Joey Bart's almost an 80. So he would be definitely featuring if we did another season, um, but you guys can see the team here. We're looking like just good prospects, good current team. Everything's looking like it's panning out very, very well. And I'm actually really psyched with the way the team's like performing, the way it's looking. We're going to see if we can find one reliever just because God's been a little bit of a question mark. Um, but that's the only trade we need to make. So let's see if we can find one and uh, see how the season finishes. All right, we're going to Victor Arano of the Phillies for Seth, Corey, uh, Mirandy Gonzalez, and then Trevor got like a, uh, once I find Miranda Gonzalez, um, but that's what we needed. We needed another bullpen arm. Um, I'll show you Arana once we pick him up. He's having a, a solid season. You know his per nines are really good. So we needed that bullpen arm. I'm hoping that's what we needed. Let's see how the rest of the season finishes out. So we actually won our division the last season, 98 and 64. We're taking on the Cardinals. So let's see how the season finished. League leaders, Will Smith with the saves, which is awesome to see. And awards, delivery man, Will Smith. He's been very consistent for us. So let's take a look at the team. Actually, first, the standings. Ooh, by nine games. Nice. That's awesome to see that we actually won the division for once. But looking at the team, Mike Clevenger um, has just been really good for us. Definite pickup if you guys are looking for a starting pitcher. Derek Rodriguez, the same thing. Um, last season was a little bit of a down year, but still very good. Mad Bum, you know, not too bad. Obviously, this season was a little bit rough, but the previous two, you can't can't complain. Jose Marte is looking really good as well. ERA is a little high, but, you know, first full season, solid. Um, Andrew Suarez has been pitching really well. Um, I had question marks about him. Derek Law, unreal long reliever for us. Reyes Maranta. His ERA is going up. I don't, I just, don't, I don't understand it. Addison Reed, um, still decent. His ratings going down a little bit, but is doing okay. Victor Arano came in, helped us out a lot. Um, took over for Gott. Kelvin Herrera, glad we traded for him. He's been an amazing setup man for this guy right here. Will Smith, sub two ERA. Amazing, amazing stuff right there. Matt Duffy's been a very good platoon player for us, you know almost playing like just first, second, short, third, whatever we need him to do. He's been very good for us. Joe Panic, we brought him back from the offseason. You guys can see I signed him for a couple years. Um, still continuing to go up, still continuing to get better as the seasons go on. Same with Buster Posey. He only gets better as he ages. He's like a fine wine. I don't understand it. Norman Mazzara has had a little bit of a down year. Um, on base percentage though went up, which, you know, it's good to see. Michael Franco hasn't really panned out as well as I would have hoped, but you know he's still contributing, which is awesome to see. Brandon Belt, I had question marks going into this season, but he definitely has done well. Same with Brandon Crawford. He's still getting better as he ages. Victor Victor Mesa is up to an 82, had his best offensive season. And then Chris Shaw, 76, um, but still one of his best hitting seasons yet. Aramis Garcia, you know, once Buster Posey starts to decline, you know, once it's time for him to retire, we, we have catching lined up. Right field, Blake Rutherford, he doesn't look like he's going to be too bad either. Tyler Austin's looking like he could be our first baseman in the future. You know, he's 29, but, you know, even he can play a corner outfield spot if needed. And Mike Gerber hasn't been too bad for us 
in the time that he's been needed. So looking at our prospects, pitching wise, you know, we have a couple names, but nothing too crazy. Um, relief pitching, again, nothing too crazy. So it's looking like the pitching is the area that would need to be improved the most. Joey Bart's almost an 80. Um, just so catching, we're just we're fine. There's no reason to go out and get anybody else. Um, Jacob Gonzalez looks decent. Um, 70 overall already. Nico Horner's up to a 70. Majam's up to a 77. So we got shortstops, middle infielders, third basemen's lined up. So, um, <laughs> you know, for fielders, you know, we're, we're looking good. You know, we've, we've got youth. We've got a lot of good prospects. We're looking really good. It's the pitching that definitely needs a little, little bit of backup in the prospects but i'm really excited about it we're gonna be taking on the cardinals in this postseason we lost the first game won the second won the third and we're taking on the pirates in this series so let's see how things go and we're going to be taking on the rays or the astros in the world series it is the rays okay um let's line up the pitching rotation so it says that suarez was pitching so let's just move everybody a spot because this is going to be good we're in the world series for a second time this rebuild wins the first wins the second wins the third and can we sweep the rays is it going to happen we have won the world series i really should have gone in oh why didn't i why didn't i go into the world series and win it so this is the third team we've won the world series with this is insane like this was a team that i was really hesitant to te he hesitant about i first season i was 100 percent guaranteeing that we weren't making the postseason what happens we make it to a world series we lose in what game six game seven second season we make it to the nlcs we lose against the phillies this season we swept the rays let's go take a look at the rays see who they have on their team if i could get it to stick let's see they got blake snell ryan stanick joey wendell jose Al alvarado billy hamilton yarborough they got a solid team here um definitely a team that shows why they competed um but we just we just proved to be a little bit better of a team and pff, i'm actually really hyped with the way the team performed so let's see the awards who was the playoff mvp victor victor mesa and Brandon Belt was the po uh, the World Series MVP. So it's looking like Victor Victor Mesa performed well in the postseason. 310 average with a homer and five ribbies. So, all right. Solid, solid team right here. This is, you know, obviously Buster Posey is going to decline soon. Panic and Duffy will decline as well. Brandon Belt will decline. Crawford will decline. But with the prospects that you ha we have in this team, there should be no reason why the lineup should be, you know, falling apart anytime soon the pitching you know most of these guys are pretty young um so even here you know should be good for the next couple seasons probably would need to draft some pitching find some pitching prospects but overall this team was crazy good was very exciting to use and hey two world series appearances one world series championship in three years that's a pretty solid return for a team that i was i wasn't sure if we were ever gonna make make it past a wild card spot so i hope you guys enjoyed this rebuild if you did hit the like button down below subscribe if you're new and enjoy the content and as always i'll catch you in the next video peace